so now we have got this parameter which is taking the options all its values in the drop down from the database now what exactly i want to do is based on this product category i want to be able to select my product subcategory okay so if i select let's say bikes i should have another parameter over here which only displays me the subcategories which are related to this bike okay so before that let's add another param uh, parameter let's remove the product parameter and add a new parameter that would be pointing to the product subcategory so param subcategory the report prompt would be product sub category and again we will be returning an integer value or key column so let's make it an integer and now let's create a data set to which this can point so go back to your data sets add a data set create one that's embedded in the report point to a data source go back to your query designer Go back to your tables, and now what we want is a product subcategory. So go back to your product subcategory table. We want the key column, and we want the English product subcategory name to be displayed over there. Okay, let's add a district. And then let's go back to a parameter and define the available values as getting values from a query. Specify a data set that we just created. In the value field, let's put the key column. And in the label field, let's put the category name. Oh, sorry. Oh, we did not give it a proper name, so let's go to data set one. And we are talking about subcategory, sorry. And the label field would be your subcategory name. Say okay. And to our main data set, let's apply the filter. So data set properties. Go to filters. And now let's change this filter. We want the product subcategory key equal to expression and the expression I want is my parameter product subcategory. Okay. Okay. Save it. Go to preview. Select your category, then select your subcategory. Now you can see that you have got the list of all the subcategories over here. Though we have selected the category as bikes, we have got something called the headsets, which is obviously not a part of the bike category. So if you do a view report here, what you're going to see is nothing. All right. So what I want to make sure is that based on the selection that I make over here, so if I select bikes, I want to see only the subcategories which are related to the bikes. Okay, so I want to make that connection. I want the report to be intelligent enough to select only those subcategories which fall within the product category of bikes. So what I can do for that is go back, head back to my design view and change my data set a bit so right click go to your data set properties and at the same time let's give it a proper name ds product sub category and now here what i want to do is add a where clause
and where dim product subcategory dot dim product category key is equal to the value of my parameter which is at or um, fraud category okay and now let's do a preview and see if it works the report parameter valid values refer to a data set which does not exist that is right because we have changed the name of a data set so go to the report data go to the subcategories go to the available values and then specify the data set name again which is product subcategory and the value field would be the subcategory key and the label field would be the subcategory name so now if i select my category as bikes i should only be seeing the values the subcategories which are related to bikes okay and that is what i am able to see if i change my selection to components i should only be see the values which are related to the components all right so this is how you create parameters which are dependent on one another and these are known as cascading parameters